Hello and welcome to day 20 of 37 Days of Prayer. My name is Reggie and I have the privilege of serving as a pastor at the Crossing Church. Today's topic is insane pride. Let's take a moment to further digest what has happened to King Nebuchadnezzar and tie it back to yesterday's devotional about the stump. After receiving the interpretation of the dream from Daniel about him being a great tree that was going to be cut down in verse 23, 12 months later, Nebuchadnezzar is walking down the roof of his palace and boasts, look at this great city of Babylon. By my own mighty power, I have built this beautiful city as my royal residence to display my majestic splendor. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd like to think that I remember the interpretation of a dream where someone, by the, way of Dan by the name of Daniel, who by the way had tons of credibility based on an earlier interpretation, tells me that I'm a tree and I'm going to get cut down. I'd like to think, hmm, time to make some changes. The change? repenting and acknowledging that heaven rules. That's verse 26 of Daniel 4. The passage from Isaiah 47 reminds us, as Solomon said in Ecclesiastes 1.9, there is nothing new under the sun. Isaiah 47 reads, you felt secure in your wickedness. No one sees me, you said, but your wisdom and knowledge have led you astray. And you've said, I'm the only one and there is no other. So disaster will overtake you and you won't be able to charm it away. Calamity will fall upon you and you won't be able to buy your way out. A catastrophe will strike you suddenly, one for which you are not prepared. How does this apply to us today if, as Solomon said, there is nothing new under the sun? I'm reminded of a reality that is an amazing personal illustration of this point. This year, Debbie and I will celebrate, Debbie, my wife, will celebrate 32 years of marriage. That's incredible, but the redemptive thing about our story is that there were four earlier marriages where Debbie and I played a part. Now, I won't speak for Debbie, but I'm clear that my earlier marriages were not anchored in God's principles. The resulting unfolding sequence of calamity and disaster in my earlier marriages started with my wisdom and my knowledge. Sounds a lot like Isaiah 47, doesn't it? Debbie and I decided from the very beginning that we would live out our marriage his way. And as a result, while it has not always been smooth, God and his word have sustained our marriage and deepened our love for one another. Let's all acknowledge today that pride, which is doing things our way, is destructive. Let's humble ourselves repent of any pride in our life, search the scriptures, pray and obey what he has said. Nebuchadnezzar was told directly to his face to essentially repent of his pride, but he ignored it and suffered the consequences. We have the very spirit of God living in us, witnessing to us and convicting us. Praise God for that. Let's pray. Father, help us to realize that doing things our way can result in disaster. Thank you for your word and sending your Holy Spirit to guide us. Amen. Now have a great day.